Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So happy new year, welcome to 2021, the uh, the new trading year um, and what, what a year it is going to be. Um, I can tell you now there's, there is going to be some there's going to be some wild action um, this year, both um, both in financial markets, both in um, political forums, both in in not both. This, this is three social economic um, forums. Just everything is going to be wild this year. Um, income inequality is going. Um, basically just off the scale um, and that can't keep going on but the the, the globe the rich elites they just want to um, they don't want to let go of power um, and as long as they don't let go of power um, the the systems they have in place um, all they do is basically make them richer and increase the um, increase increase their income inequality um, and um, also um, not just income inequality, wealth inequality as well. So that's uh, there is a difference between those two. One is just um, the difference between your actual incomes, and one is the difference between how your wealth goes up um, compared to other people. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a difficult year. Uh, they're losing control of this, um, and yeah, the dollar the dollar is gonna be in a decline as people um, as 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 America goes more socialist. Um, um, the dollar is going to obviously suffer because, well, the rest of the world is going to lose confidence in, in in that currency. Seeing it, it's just being, it will just be getting printed to give out, to dish out. So, um, yeah, we're going to have, we are going to have an absolutely um, wild, wild year. And I may have to ref refer back to this video towards um, towards the end of this year, um, and then just uh, just look at some of the crazy things that have happened. So yeah. Um, anyway, um, let's go over to the uh, Bitcoin charts. Um, this may may this may or may not be a beneficiary um, to um, what is going on this year. Um, but um, if I had to guess, um, I would say it's it would probably benefit on the basis that I think um, just um, fiat currencies are just going to struggle um, because there's there's nothing really left. I mean, there's there's never been anything left since two thousand and eight. Um, for them to do other than to print and print and print and print um, and hide the fact they're printing and try and um, reduce money velocity so that money doesn't actually start to um, filter through to prices um, and obviously money velocity is it's probably like all time lows now um, obviously due to economies literally being shut down um, so once that money velocity does increase um, and the actual extreme amount of printing that's been done um, and there is going to be um, basically crippling, crippling price inflation, um, and it's just going to um, it's going to cause a a a sort of system reset. Um, but it may not it may not end up being like a system reset that um, the the global elites had in mind. It might end up um, as more of a um, as more of a well. Let's just let's just um, refer ourselves to the uh, the French Revolution. Um, so anyway, let's um, let's um, just talk about Bitcoin now. Um, so Bitcoin, there's not much to say really. We are still in this ascending wedge. Um, plenty of ascending wedges in Bitcoin have broken up to the upside. Um, it is it is easy for us to get a a a slingshot reversal where we break to the upside and get slammed back down. We may break to the downside and get slammed back up. Um, but at the at the moment, you just have to um, look at this as a statistically. Um, um, more likely um, to break to the downside, but that doesn't have to happen. Um, you can see we had actually yesterday had a perfect touch of it, a, an absolute perfect touch of this trend line. Um, so yeah, and we were supported by it. So we that was not that was not going to be our our point in time that we were going to lose this trend line um, and lose this wedge. But um, but yeah, at the moment though, we're still we're still trading here. You can see we are under 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 a, under a level here, um, twenty nine thousand. 400 i mean realistically um this does look like it wants to break this level this does not look like a like a like a short-term top here um we probably have to get some sort of a of a buying some sort of a um a um let me just check this some sort of a um um well buying climax uh maybe spikes is up um, and then um, potentially a pullback. Um, not does obviously like I said, everything is only um, statistics and probabilities. But at some point we are we are at some point we are looking. We're clearly going to have to have more than a uh, more than a fifteen percent pullback. 
um, in basically what is um, not far off a 3x a 3x price movement. Let me just check this one more one more time, just whilst I remember what what is the biggest pullback that we've had so far. Um, yeah, um, yeah, basically about 17%. We're going to have a bit have to have a bigger pullback than that um, in the context of a uh, a 3x move up in Bitcoin. Um, so when it comes, um, when it comes, who knows um, from what level it comes from? Who knows? <laughs> If it comes, um, well, it is gonna come. Um, so that that goes without saying. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, we just uh, wait uh, with bated breath. Um, we're bated breath on that. So um, Ethereum also Ethereum BTC is um, is struggling here. Um, we had this um, pump up. Um, and yeah, we needed to hold this like this horizontal here, which we haven't. Um, so this is this is this is looking this is not looking good again. Basically, um, the only thing we've got to um, <laughs> to help us at the moment now is the midpoint. Is the midpoint? We'll probably just draw this um, horizontal this horizontal in here. It's near enough the midpoint of this overall move up, um, which is a uh, which is a is um, usually a do a, a do a do or die uh, level. Um, so we either we either bounce off this and then uh, make our way back to the high and onwards, or we lose this and then we get a full retrace and then potentially further down. So uh, we'll draw this horizontal in here. Um, it does have confluence here as well, so um, that's obviously good to see. We are on a four hour nine, so it it's a potential um, bounce point. But um, does the bounce point get us back to the highs and back on back beyond? That is what we're going to have to keep an eye on. So Ethereum, obviously Ethereum US dollar. Um, is um, not looking as bad um, price-wise. Um, so yeah, but it's just not really making any progress whilst obviously we, we know Bitcoin is uh, is making progress um, and that is basically what the Bitcoin dominance is. Um, I am sure I drew a, a trend line in here um, the other day um, and I don't really know where it's gone, <laughs> but we'll draw it back in again. Um, um, yeah, so we've got this uh, trend line here. Are we getting are we getting a, uh, a head and shoulders of sorts? Um, we'll see. We'll see if we do come down to this line um, and if we break it and see what happens. But yeah, we'll just be aware of that. Um, that would we'll, yeah, just be able to be aware of that. Um, DXY. I mean, this has not been opened. This is not um, trading um, today. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see, we are looking at just a, a back test of this horizontal again. Um, so um, yeah, I mean we broke down, sort of back tested it, broke down further. We're back testing it again. So do we get back above? Do we consolidate in this zone again and try to go bullish, or are we just going to get rejected here and get slammed down? Um, we shall, we shall have to find out. Um, so so yeah, we'll have a look at the stochastics. Um, how are they looking? Are they are they telling us that we have got the uh, the ability to break up out of this wedge and just go even parabolic, uh, even more parabolic? Um, or are we looking at a potential uh, a potential pullback? So I mean, four hours there or thereabouts, um, sort of turning back up. It's holding up there. Um, a ten hour. I suspect this is yeah. I mean, ten hour. Um, so yeah, we got caught um, uh, roughly this trend line. Um, got back up to the highs, and now we're looking to turn back down again. So is this the time? Twelve hour. Uh, Twelve hours particularly high here. Look, if we look, we have not been this high since. Um, we have not been this high since, um, well, to be honest, um, April, um, April early this year. Uh, uh, sorry, April last year now. Um, so this is um, um, pretty, pretty toppy um, as a level. And as you can see, when we did get this high before, um, we'll just have a look at what the price price was was doing. Oh, um, um, let's just do this. Um, April. Um, yeah, so price price action did actually still um, still uh, make its way higher. Obviously, I mean we probably mentioned probably pretty much knew that, but yeah, we'd obviously come off these lows down here. So um, yeah, that was the last time, and that's all. That was obviously a pretty extreme move coming off these um, off these um, dumps here. Um, so yeah, this is not quite the same as that. This is a um, this has just been a, a just been a complete melt up. Um, so let's have a look at the daily. Also, let's look at the daily. Also. Um, uh, daily very toppy but as we can see we can stay up here for a while so this is not necessarily something that's um telling me we've got to come down right now um i mean two hour looking good three day yeah ish five day um yeah i mean it's it's looking okay weekly looking okay um and obviously bi-weekly monthly looking great um so yeah it's um 
we are we are just we are extended and um, the trend is your friend uh, basically until it isn't so i think to be honest charting wise now it is just a case of um have our have a lower level just keep raising um the points where um a break and a close below would um trigger more downside um and um just wait for one of them to eventually get broke um just following price action up um so not really much else <laughs> not much else we can do but um volatility is coming down here um so when we do get um, an expansion in volatility um it will potentially um lead to downside um but it could lead to upside first and then downside um so obviously <laughs> nothing's nothing can nothing's easy in trading is it um but yeah realistically we'll keep an eye on these levels um keep an eye on this keep an eye we can still just trade uh, within the end of this wedge and then obviously if we take out this whole this uh, trend line we'll potentially get um um some swift move to the upside um and then it will be a case of do we keep going do we then find somewhere consolidate or do we then get um um swiftly slammed down or do we lose the or do we lose the um or do we lose the bottom side so um lots of if buts and maybes with price action we are getting that um an inflection point um in this um in this move um so um obviously there's lots of fomo buying coming in they're clearly um um will be some people taking profits also at these levels so it's just a case of just more buying coming in than than profits getting taken um and um and also waiting for um the actual um the actual um cmes to open and the um the people to come back to 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 start trading again um because at the moment obviously it's just um it's it's light it's lightly traded markets at the moment um so yeah that is it guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always um do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today